first thing we're going to do is hook up our 110 power supply that will um, power the whole unit, which is obviously tied into a circuit breaker from the house. This power supply will only be installed on the left hand block in this box. It is not designed to be jumper wired over to tie the two blocks together. So as you can see the 110 line that comes in the line system will run it through the bottom of the box. As you can see, we've got this our power supply on the our power block on the left hand side completely wired in now with our white just like it is. You can use the right hand block from the how it's wired from the factory as a reference guide if necessary. Black goes on the right of the block, white goes on the left, ground on the lower side there. Now that I've got my power hooked up, I've put a few zip ties on here to keep everything nice and clean and pulled over where I want it out of the way. I can plug my switch plug back into the power supply and I'll plug my pump in to my pump power supply on the right hand block. Always remember that your pump, if you're going to run two pumps, the pump on the right hand side of the unit is your primary pump. The reason for that is this is where we monitor the water temperature of the unit. So if you're heating a home, you will definitely want the uh, pump on the right to be the pump that's servicing the house in say not a garage or a shop something that you would maybe want to shut down at different times. I'm doing the return side first here so I'll go ahead and get my clamp on here. Okay now I need to cut a piece that will um, get over to where I need to be. I'll go ahead and clamp it first and then I can just kind of put the end where I want it and cut it at that point. Right now I am going to install a one inch to half inch T in my return line. The reason for this is I will tie the half inch side into my um, water supply from the house to use this as a bleeder in for the system upon installing or any time you're starting up the unit a lot of times you may have to bleed it or if you've drained the unit for whatever reason um, we do not recommend draining the units over the summer or anything like that but you um, you may want to flush your unit at some point in time during the life of it or if you have to replace a pump it's a good chance you'll have to bleed your lines again I need to be sure I leave enough room here to get another fitting on this. Go ahead and tighten my clamp down. Be sure you always slide your clamp over your pipe first. Sometimes PEX isn't the easiest to get off of these barbs. Especially when it's a little cooler and stiff. When you order the pump with the unit, it does come with the PEX barb fitting already on it. So you'll need a couple more elbows like I've used on my return system here for, for coming over to your pump on this side. But you will not, again, need that male PEX barb if you order the pump from the factory. and trim off any excess here. On the fill side of the unit on the half inch water line, 
we always recommend putting a ball valve at the back of the unit just in case you ever do have an issue or something you have the ability to turn that off and you don't have to go to the house usually in the crawl space or somewhere like that to cut your water supply off if there was ever a problem if you'll plumb a half inch line back over to your return side of your service loop you can use this half inch PEX line to purge your service loop of air in the initial install or any other startup that you might need to do that with and it saves you from having to run a water hose out and tying into this drain valve which is another option to purge the air from the line this is just a pretty cost effective way to save some time and in the future if you ever have to do that This step of the install, we will install the front door combustion blower. The blower, you will find it in the firebox of your furnace upon shipping, as well as your water test kit box, your blower cover that goes over it to protect it from the weather. And so that's where you will find that upon delivery of your furnace. You cannot wire the blower backwards, both black wires. Just pick which one you want to go white and one you want to go black with. <laughs> 